George faxed me uh, a list of the entertainers who have performed at this dinner. This, all, this is true. Now, uh, evidently, they used to have a bigger bill. In 1945, you had Frank Sinatra, Danny Thomas, Jimmy Durante, Fanny Bryce, Danny Kaye, and Gary Moore. This year, it's me. <laughs> this is going to be fun. People walk around under all kinds of delusions. There are, there are men walking around thinking they're Jesus. There are men walking around thinking they're Napoleon. There are men walking around thinking Congress is going to pass their budget in the first hundred days. <laughs> Finally, I have an announcement for those of you watching tonight's event live on C-SPAN. For God's sake, it's Saturday night. <laughs> and of course, President Clinton had some wonderful, wonderful international triumphs, such as bringing the Arabs and the Israelis together. Remember that day in the Rose Garden? Remember when they were all in step? I'm telling you, you give the greatest speeches. I, every time I get a chance, I watch, because every time he gets to a big word, it's like watching a high wire act. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Yes, he did it! <laughs> Three syllables, everybody, how about it? As some of you heard, uh, the state of Hawaii released my official long-form birth certificate. Tonight, for the first time, I am releasing my official birth video. Larry also said that preparing me for a press conference was like reinventing the wheel. It's not true. I was around when the wheel was invented and it was easy. The amazing thing, however, is that George and I were just meant to be. I was a librarian who spent 12 hours a day in the library. Yet somehow, I met George. Oh, I want to... I want to speak to just the men in the audience for a second. Party with the animals. Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. Face in hell. Ozzy, mom loves your stuff. Mr. President, you remember when the country rallied around you in hopes of a better tomorrow? That was hilarious. That was your best one yet. In the TV debates, they kept asking Dan Quayle about the first thing he'd do as president. Cheer up, Dan. They're still asking me that same question. Now, I, I have actually shown up here for eight straight years. Looking back, that was probably a mistake. It is wonderful to be here. And I'm delighted to be here. I'm absolutely delighted to be here. George always says he's delighted to come to these press dinners. Baloney.